this is Jake from PokerDataMine.net and today I'm going to show you how to data mine on the Ungame Network. Before we get started you need to make sure that you have two pieces of software. One of them is the Ungame Poker Client. You can download this from any site on the Ungame Network. And the second is the Ungame Hand Grabber and you can get this by going to my website at www.pokerdatamining.net slash datamine dash ungame. Okay, um, we're ready to get started here, so I'll open the on-game hand grabber here by double-clicking it. And then I'm going to select the site I've installed, and I've chosen BetSafe Poker, and I'm just going to make sure that this checkbox here, it's checked, it says Save Hand Histories, and I'll just make a note of uh, the path it says here, this is where the hand histories will be saved, and make sure that I can remember this for later so I can find them and now I'm going to click launch site and this will okay, uh, since it's the first time I'm running this it's asking me if I want to create the directory uh, to save the hand histories in I'm just going to say yes and now I'm going to launch the BitSafe Poker Client and it's just going to be a little wide here and I'm going to log in You may have noticed that uh, the on-game hand grabber has kind of disappeared. Uh, this is because because it is automatically minimized when you launch it. So it's down here in the lower hand right corner, um, represented by a little pickaxe icon. If you double click this, you can see that it appears again here. And I just kind of move it over to the side. Okay, now I'm going to find some tables that I want to data mine on. I'm selecting cash games and I'm gonna, yeah, mid stakes is fine and I'll open a couple of tables. This one looks interesting. I'll we'll just, it's lagging a little bit because of the video software. Now that I've got a couple of tables launched, I'm just gonna sit back and relax and wait while uh, the on-game hand grabber does it does its work. You can see here in the lower right, lower left hand corner of the, the hand grabber, it's counting how many hands it has saved. I'm just gonna let it run for a couple of minutes here so we can get a couple of hand hitches. Okay, we are back and we got 30 hands here and I'll just um, shut everything down here so it's a little easier to watch what's going on. It's the new on game client is quite demanding. Oh, yes, I want to share it all down. Uh, okay, and I'll just show you the hand histories so you can see that it's working as it's supposed to. I'm gonna open my computer, gonna go to the C drive, program files, and I'm gonna find the on game hand grabber folder it's oh uh, here it is on game hand grabber and hand histories and you can see here there's four new files and I'm gonna open this one. You can see there's a apparently an on game hand history. It's look kinda unreadable here but it should work. I'm gonna shut this down and now I'm gonna show you how to import them into Poker Tracker tr three. So this is probably the screen you see when you launch Poker Tracker. And to so import the data mine hand, we're gonna go to manual import and then select import from directory. And here I'm gonna find the folder uh, where the ungame hand is designed. And by default it is um, <coughs> excuse me, by default it is on the C drive program files and then it's in folder called on game hand grabber and inside hand history. I'm gonna click OK. 
and I'm just going to tell it to go ahead and import here. And you can see here that it's finding hand histories. And I'm going to click OK. It's just going to launch a little clustering here. But you can see here, down at the bottom of uh, the lock here, that it says that it's found uh, 35 hands and 4 files. And they have all been imported. There are no errors and no duplicates. And when it's done here, importing, I'm going to show you the actual hand histories. Yeah, I'm going to go to Texas Hold'em, and we can see here that there's a whole lot of land game players from the hate histories, hate histories we have just imported. And I'm going to select Session for this player here, done v 0 and I'm going to double click one, replay it. And you can see here that there's a hand history from one of the tables we were watching. And, well, that's it. You can download the on-game hand grabber that I've used in this video by going to www.pokerdataminingnet slash datamine dash on-game.